It's taken the police 55 days to trace the whereabouts of Dutchman Tob Cohen, a man they believed to be dead since his disappearance was reported for the wife, Sarah Wairimo Cohen, who is a prime suspect in the case. Her husband had, already, had only traveled for medical attention. This is her story that she has stuck to with close friends of her husband now revealing she had been cruel to Tob before his disappearance. Sam Gitoko reports of Sarah's confessions that could be put to question by detectives. He was a 69-year-old Dutch businessman running his businesses quietly alongside his wife Sarah Wairimo. But it is Wairimo who opened their little world to the rest of the world, revealing a not-so-quiet relationship. It was on the 10th of August, exactly three weeks since Top's disappearance, Wairimo took to YouTube, releasing a video of her side of the story in Cohen's disappearance. Of course, when showered, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's weekend, he would always like shower in the, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, got in his uh, weekend uh, gear, which mm -hmm. is um, jeans, blue jeans, mm -hmm. and, uh, and a blazer. The description matching the clothes on Cohen's body when it was discovered this afternoon. Wairimo had told of what she thought of her husband's travel. He had a small bag, a little mm -hmm. pool. Mm -hmm. Um, actually borrowed, borrowed from me mm -hmm. because I'm always traveling with all these small ones so okay. he took one of mine so that to me indicated either a very short stay or a weekend somewhere but on that night his friend Patrick Moirori claims to have spoken to a threatened Cohen on the night he was murdered I talked to him from 9.45 to after 10 and uh, he was very 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 concerned about his Life. Life. He never hid the fact that if anything happens to him, if he is found dead anywhere, Sarah, his yeah. wife, yeah. would be responsible. This allegation had been flying over time. First fears raised by Cohen himself in a video he shared with family, having sustained injuries on the face that he attributed to his wife. Sarah is not for that. So a friend of mine, Mushmugeg Mugai, called me, he was in India, he told me, look, our friend is missing, Cohen is missing. It came to me immediately, and I was reminded what he, what he told me, that in the case of anything, my disappearance, my body being found anywhere, Sarah is responsible. Mm -hmm. So in myself, I had really judged Sarah. In her video interview, Sarah had insinuated a strained relationship with her husband, divulging details that Cohen had been abusing drugs, leading to his temperament. At some point, even referring to her husband in past tense, despite an active search for him. Announced to many, he had all this aggression, um, couldn't handle situations, and um, he actually tended to be with them. Um, always the wrong company because it was all about fights, it was never about making peace, it was never about growth, it was all about vindicating others and that kind of a thing. His friend Patrick now telling of a conflict that ensued last December during the wedding of Sarah's daughter that Cohen was allegedly left out from. When he came down here, took the microphone to say hi to the guests, Sarah stands up, grabs the microphone from Cohen in front of all the guests and tell the guest, you are not wanted, you do not own this home, you are talking nonsense. Sarah has been custody for two weeks now. Just yesterday, a court hearing the case directed she be charged with murder. His counsel, however, opposing the decision, and there was no body. On the 10th of August, Sarah asked her husband to return home. It appears he was already dead. And as investigations continue and an impending review of the case, the detectives will be keen on identifying the motive of the murder. Sam Kitukosri ZNTV, Nairobi.